It's Friday, April 15th at 1.29 a.m. Um, I wanted to go through some reasons why I want to lose weight, why I want to go forward with this surgery. Um, because, of course, you know, looking normal is one of my biggest goals. It's 1.30. Um, when I went to India, I just didn't feel normal, and I want to be normal. I mean, of course, I would like to stand out, but I don't want to stand out for some for being overweight, for being fat. You know, that's that's not something that I want to, you know, flaunt and whatever. I don't know. I'm not. I'm okay with how I look. But I'm not okay at the same time, I guess. I, I, don't, I wouldn't know how to ex explain it. I'm, I'm not the type that would be proud, I guess, to be fat. And it's not something that you should be proud of unless, unless you're healthy and you're okay with your self-image. But no, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. Um, and of course, you know, I, I gained every pound because I made that decision to eat X or to eat X, Y, Z, and it was all me, you know, but I wanted to come up with reasons, um, other than, you know, aesthetics, I guess to go through with it, I guess. I <laughs> Loss of words, I guess. I'm not very... Um, blah, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me go forward with it. Um, number one... See, I, have, I made a list. I made a list. Um, number one, I want to be fertile. Of course, I'm not going to get married anytime soon, and I don't, I'm not in a relationship... I don't plan to get married anytime soon or get a new relationship anytime soon. But I want to know that, you know, I want to feel secure in that I can, um, I can have children at some point in my life and not, like, be, high, be a high-risk pregnancy or whatever else it is or give diabetes to my child. Not that I have diabetes, but don't, like, pregnant people get diabetes sometimes. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, number two, I haven't been to, um, any amusement park in a long time. Um, probably eighth grade, I went to SeaWorld. I think that was the last time I went on whatever. I think, I don't remember, um, because they tore down Astroworld, and I don't remember, but I, that's my last memory of being on a, on a roller coaster, and I remember somebody offered me, um, well, they, they were like, let's go, and I was like, um, I don't know, I don't know if I can fit in that ride, or any ride, so I didn't go. And I don't want, I didn't want to be like that person that doesn't get the clear or whatever, you know, how they like, you know, do that to each other. I don't know if they do that now, but, um, like that it can't close on you and everybody's looking at you and you're like, oh, fuck, you know? <laughs> anyway, number three, I want to be able to wear a crossbody bag. Oh my god, they are so cute and everything, and I don't get to wear them. And at work, um, we need to, sometimes we need to, um, give immediate reinforcement, um, to a child, and you have to wear these satchels. And my satchel comes, like, right underneath, like, probably, like, three inches underneath my boob, so, like, in my stomach area. And everybody else's satchel, the same satchel, goes all the way down to their, like, lower back or, like, hip area. And 
it's kind of like, uh, yeah. Um, so number four, I want to be able to climb a crap of stairs. Um, I can climb. Why am I so stuffy? Um, I can climb up to like two flights of stairs. I mean, I can climb up more, but I'll be out of breath by the second set of stairs, and I don't want to be out of breath. Like, <sighs> and I remember when I was at UTSA, um, sometimes I didn't want to climb up. I mean, I didn't want to take the elevator because it was so packed and et cetera, et cetera. And um, I used to have to go up to, like, the third floor or whatever floor, and I wanted to walk it. And um, I didn't want to, like, I wanted to get there probably, like, 15 minutes before class so I can catch my breath and not show up to class going, <sighs> and everybody looking at you like you're crazy. Um, yeah. Um, number five, I want to be able to shop everywhere. Oh my god, it's so hard to shop for plus sizes that's actually, like, in style. And then if you do find the ones that are in style, they're not so cheap as, say, um, you know, Forever 21, um, with their yellow tags that are, like, five dollars for a freaking dress or something. Um, and I do understand that, of course, being a bigger person, you would need more fabric, and I get it, you know, I get that. Um, but it's kind of frustrating that, um, some of your friends can go to any store and shop whatever they want to shop, you know, if they don't have, like, um, I can't find the word again, but, like, the possibilities are endless, I guess, like, I should say. Um, but not for me. Um, oh yeah, and including bras, because my size bra is probably, like, the biggest band size they have in, in Lane Bryant. Um, so, so you know you're in trouble when this is the biggest band size in Lane Bryant. Okay, restaurants. Boots. 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 Yeah. Boots. Whatever. Um, I'm probably at the limit to where I can reach a booth. If I gain 20 pounds, I will not fit into a booth. I think if I gain 10 pounds, I won't fit into a booth anymore. So I'm at my limit. So I need to be able to fit in a booth. Um, number eight. Again, when on a plane, when I went to India, I felt so bad because it was my friend Gabby, me, a uh, American guy that was doing business in Britain, and some other person, and so I was like this the whole time. I don't want to touch you, dude. I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you, Gabby, either, but I'll lean a little bit more to your side because I know you. Um... And I felt bad for the dude, because he had to sit next to the fat person and be uncomfortable or whatever. I mean, he could fit comfortably, like his arms were like right here and like that, and he could fall asleep, but I so felt bad for him um, that he had to sit next to me. <laughs> and also, like the tray wouldn't fit over my gut, like that was so uncomfortable. That goes back to what I was talking in, in the beginning. I, I want to feel comfortable in public. I don't want to feel like the people in the next table are laughing because of me. When they're probably not even laughing at me. They probably they probably said something funny. But I always feel like people are laughing at me because I'm fat. And I keep on saying fat all the time. But yeah, I do feel that. And... It's kind of like, uh, and then the thing with kids and, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, it's kind of like overwhelming sometimes, um, to be in public. And it's not like it's made me like a 
social retard or anything that I don't go anywhere, but sometimes I avoid certain situations just to not feel uncomfortable. This one, sweating. I hate being the only one that's sweating in the damn place. No. Unacceptable. Um, necklaces. Again, neck too large. My neck is too large for freaking necklaces. I wouldn't wear any freaking necklace that I want to wear. Um, number 13. I want to be able to wrap a towel around me. A regular towel, not a beach towel, a regular freaking towel. Um, 14. I want to be able to, you know, want to be in front of the picture, like, hey, you know, look at me, take a picture of me, I want to be a camera whore. <laughs> but instead, I'm probably, like, the one hugging you behind so I can cover half of my bigness. Um, yeah, and... That's not something that I should do. I should be able to not feel weird about whatever, whatever it is that I'm taking a picture of. And not worry about people taking the bad angles. Like, really? Bad angles? There shouldn't be a bad angle because this is real life. I don't know. I'm crazy. But I, I'm probably most likely certain that... Most people that are in my position, or some of the people that are in my position, feel the same way. Um, that I'm not the only one who feels these, cr that has these crazy thoughts um, about being big and wanting to fit in, being accepted by everyone and whatever, and in all aspects of life, and you know, employment, and regular social activities, and sports, and Relation, love, whatever. I'm not crazy. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. <laughs> um, but it's kind of hard sometimes. And mm, I don't know. I just hope everything goes well.